The hospital staff here was wonderful. The care that I got in ICU was impeccable. This is always gonna be my favorite hospital. My husband awoke to find me having trouble breathing. I was covered in blood. How many seizures I had before he found me because I bit through my tongue. So they transported me to Ascension and Dr. John Spooner was called off of vacation. I woke up, so they wanted me to close one eye, touch my nose. My husband, who was sleeping in a chair, come over and he said, welcome back. Julia's aneurysm was two and a half centimeters. An aneurysm is basically a weak area in a blood vessel wall. You can have anywhere, anywhere in the body. Uh, in the brain, it's a little bit different because the blood vessels in the brain are a little bit different. He said, this thing was the size of your eye and it was right behind your left eye. He goes, the fact you had no headaches, no nauseousness, no warning at all, that should have broke and that would have been it. We injected the carotid artery and you can see part of the aneurysm is filling here. We put a flow diverter, which is a stent, it's called pipeline, across the aneurysm, and this is six months later, no aneurysm at all. How many times do you hear of a doctor coming off vacation because he needs to do a surgery? The man gave up vacation with his family to come take care of me. She's you know, made a complete recovery. If you met her today, you would have no idea that she had an aneurysm or had any of this happen to her. He said a lot of people it doesn't go right for, and truthfully by yours it shouldn't have. He said, you're the one in a million. The hospital and Ascension and St. Thomas have really invested a lot in making a comprehensive stroke center. And we have a great neuroscience team, a great tumor program. The fact that you have all that support is what really makes the difference. It's really hard to thank somebody for saving your life. I'm so grateful. So grateful.